Hello friends, electrical revolution, you know, it is coming in India in a big force now. Of course, it was there from last three years, but you can see that last six months, it is taking a lot of pace and now lot many electric vehicle is been adopted by most of the citizen in India. So let's see and talk about electric vehicle, how electric vehicle sector will perform from here and which are the main contenders, which are the two big companies which can be benefited from electric vehicles. That is what I am going to talk in detail. We'll talk about complete electric vehicle, future prospect, present scenario and everything. And also I will give you two companies name which you can invest basically in coming time and also you can invest now also so guys again welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ca tapandoshi just click the below link and do subscribe to our channel and do like this video and please put comments what what do you think about electric hills in india so let us start with for the electrical segment now let us go and review first the sector electric vehicle so talking about electrical as you can see it is a big upside is there for the electric vehicle segments and is related stock now before i go let us understand what is the outlook of electric vehicles talking about electric vehicle guys if you see the u in the us the electric vehicle tipping point did not arrive till 2021 okay but then there was a big push on electric vehicle adaptation and there is a long demand coming for the long range batteries and charging infrastructure. Again, if you talk about second quarter of 2023, the penetration of electric vehicle in US auto markets has reached almost 42%. Now, this is very important, guys. Understand, we always follow Western countries. Of course, we are 5-10 years behind them. You know, in talking about when and adoption, but whatever is adopted in US and Western countries will eventually will happen in India only. That you can talk about in detail sector. Even in electric vehicle also it will happen same. So currently, in coming years, suddenly you can see the big push coming as and when the infrastructure will become more viable for electric vehicles. That you have to keep in mind. Another point you have to keep in mind that India is the third largest auto market after China and US. Electric vehicle is almost currently 3% of new sales till the June quarter 2023. However, okay, this is almost double in going to next six years. Now, this is what you have to understand. The doubling of all this electric vehicle will happen fast because new generation and also once the infrastructure is laid out, it will become much easier for every person, every uh, citizen of India not to buy electric as and when they require. Currently, yes, petrol cars demand is more, but you always have to think about the future and stock market is always thinking about the future. Which stock will adopt electric much fast way, which uh, basically automated, that is what we have to show, see. So yes, this point also you have to keep in mind. Now talking about guys present scenario, if you talk about present scenario, 5% seems to be inflation point to which most technology get ready for mass adoption. Now what do you mean by that? As I told you currently it's a 3% adaptation. Once it reach 5%, now then you will see a suddenly big jump. You, have you seen the graph now going like this and suddenly there is a big jump. And that is what will happen uh, again in India also. So maybe in one year, six months now, once it cross 5%, which will eventually is going to easily cross in few months, then you will see a big adaptation of electric vehicle in India that you always have to keep in mind. So, of course, if you want to take uh, benefit of this, you have to enter the stock much earlier. Again, uh, again, the universal challenge of the car cost charge will be 10 skipper. Driver skepticism are solved for the few and masses soon to be followed. Yani it is too expensive to have a you know, EV vehicle, again charging and all that. So, of course, we have to work on the infrastructure. Again, the country seems to be a tipping point of EV adoption, which is why India's homegrown automakers have been investing heavily in electrification. You talk about any other big company, automakers like Tata Motors, m and Maruti. Maruti was quite late in the days, but now they also started. And so many other Aisha Motor and all these guys have started heavily on the electric vehicle because this is the future. Another point you have to keep in mind that the domestic sales of electric is more than double in the past year, but it was barely 2% of total light sales in last year. So, Light vehicles still, they are not adopting electric as such, but however, in the passenger vehicle and the big uh, uh, bus and trucks and all this, 
No, suddenly there is a big jump in electrical. Again, couple of domestic majors have lined up plants for EV export, but India is still made to be present in the as a international EV platform and also in big international EV players. So yes, slowly and gradually it is moving up, but yes, it is moving on the right direction. Again, what are the factors which will boost the adoption of electric vehicle? Now, if you talk about World Bank, World Bank told that uh, no, basically charging infrastructure is four to seven times more effective in electric vehicle adoption than providing upfront purchase subsidy. So the charging segments and all that no infrastructure, once it has been established, it will be much more cost effective for every country. Again, go government has offered tax initiative, product link incentive to encourage EV production. So government is also putting all the efforts so that they can push electric vehicle production much more in a uh, faster mode. Again, getting non-EV player to become a part of EV charging value chain should offer a massive push for EV adoption. Plus the fit aggregators should be encouraged to operate EV across India. So we have boss currently a lot of the segment is stall, still non-EV vehicles as and when infrastructure develops and as and when the adaptation comes no, this will play a big role and suddenly you will see the star, start of big bull run in electric vehicle companies. Now what is the future perspective? The future perspective is simple, very good but talking about let us take each and every point. The company has already installed four EV vehicle charging station in India. It has also rolled battery shipping of two wheelers and three wheeler segment. So, Kafi Sari companies know they have started uh, you no know, charging station and also now I have seen lo lot many real estate companies also while they are uh, building uh, any or whatever you can take the residential projects and all they are having a separate electric vehicle segment charging station also. Yeah, just now I gone to my sister home at Pune, no, there also there was a charging station. So this shows you know, the now all the now the actually no you can say the awareness is coming for adopting of electric vehicles. Talking international energy agency has predicted India will be the third largest global battery storage capacity by 2040 which means all electric city that is produced will have to store effectively for later use. So India is going to play a big role by 2040. Again, electric batteries are to the, of this century that oil was previous one. So again, the oil was in demand in last one century. Similarly, electric vehicle will be demand for the next century and the battery makers can cut up both electrical and the industry are the best edge to ride the boom. Again, the future of electric vehicles in India seems very bright. The Indian government wants to join electric vehicle revolution according to the sources. They plan 30% private cars, 70% commercial vehicles, 40% buses and 80% two-wheeler and three-wheelers go electric by 2030. So you can see, just think about in next five years, there will be such a big boom in electric vehicle because government pushing. And when my government start pushing and they start providing infrastructure related to electric vehicles, things will be much, much better going ahead from here. So that you always have to keep in mind. Now let us understand which are the best EV stocks. So talking about two, there I will uh, recommend two EV stocks. Of course, they are much more at a large cap, but I want to give you that two stocks in which I feel is really good. One is the Tata Motor. Okay, so first we'll talk about Tata Motor, then I'll talk about the second stock. Tata Motor, if you see, uh, if you see the market cap, of course it is a large cap company. Again, if you talk about RO is quite low, but slowly and gradually it will increase in going to increase stock is 20, which is okay. Then if you talk about uh, performance, then if you talk about, if you take last five years guys performance, no, you see here, it was around 70, 60, around April 20 when the COVID crisis happened. And now it has almost gone to 60, 620, more, more than seven times in last three years. And there are specific reasons you see with the big volume, here there was a big push in the stock price. The reason is Tata Motor is one of the early adopter of electric vehicles. They have done a fabulous job and they, all their models are doing very good in electric vehicles. And that's why Tata Motors has taken a much faster way compared to other big giants like Maruti. They have not entered electrical in such a fast way. But Tata Motor thought about future and they entered at a very early stage. Also, if you see a company is going to expect very good returns over the time. Also, basically, if you talk about quarterly result, if you talk about quarterly result, guys, you see increase in net profit. See, it was minus, 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 and then 
last three quarters it is having a very positive and almost 3000 5400 crore 3300 crore what it shows it shows there is a big jump in net profit and if you see turnover turnover was uh, june 20 was 31000 which is almost three times now if you talk about currently it is 1 lakh 2000 and march is 1 lakh 5000 and that shows that they are doing very well even operating margin if you see uh, June, of course, uh, that was a COVID year, but now it is almost 13%. So, slowly and gradually, it is increasing a lot. And that shows that, yes, uh, stock is doing quite good. Now, now let us talk about, uh, uh, basically, what is the future prospect of Tata Motors. See, Tata Motors are planning to bring lot many new models in the market, electrical market, and they want to be a number one company in electric vehicle. And that's how you can see that it's a six times, seven times jump in the prices. If you ask me personally, guys, currently Tata Motor just yes, of course is gone up a lot, but Tata Motor has a lot of potential. If you are thinking about long term from here, guys, this is one of the stock. If you are talking about large cap, then you can talk about Tata Motor, and also you can buy also every day you can buy this stock, and I think this is showing a lot of promise. So Tata Motor is one of my suggestion you can go for the long term another talks which i recommend is nothing but so mahindra and mahindra limited m m if you talk about m m guys now the stock is 18 roe is quite good 18 okay and it has done well over the time if you talk about in last after the covid case you just see 20 this is also almost five times okay the jump in uh, basically m m is almost five times so it has also done very good our m m is also early if you know the sv of m m is quite in demand and they are like car model and so many other models are there which is in demand and they are going to bring lot many electric vehicles uh, new models in the market and that will push the sales of amanda uh, amanda if you talk about p ratio also guys earlier it was around october 1 to 50 now it has been actually around 20 18 20 which is quite reasonable and if you can say eps is going up 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 only correct and that is if you go down no if you talk about quarterly result you see by june 20 it was only 55 then one for and you can see there is a continuous jump in the profitability of a company why because their models are doing very well very well m and m and as i told you in suv segment m and is considered one of the best companies so if you are thinking that i want to write two large caps and you want to play safe i think these are the two stocks and if you talk about even sales also guys 11,000 has gone to 33,000 three times margin is also increasing see 17 17 then 18 and uh, that is playing a big role so talking about m and m also they have a quite an interesting feature and management is quite aggressive in m and m they are going to bring lot many models and as you now understand guys as and when new generation comes you know they want their own aspiration and that's why suv is the aspiration currently and that's why you know m and m stocks uh m and m models are doing very well like suv fry 100 and you so you know lot many models are there third and all that they are doing very well this shows that yes m m also knows now how to catch the attention of the customer and what type of model and of course you know their quality is quite good so m m also i will suggest another stock with for which every deep you can buy for the long term so tata muta m m these are the two stocks i recommend and guys there are compared to them maruti is quite lagger no they have not adopted so but yes now they are rushing for the electric vehicle i don't know why they have not rushed earlier but yes they rushed quite well now uh, i have already given earlier the video on electra that also was my suggestion but yes these are the few stocks you can think about it for the future electric vehicle guys i want you guys to invest okay this is the mega trend one type of mega trend if you really want to make it big over the time at least to the automobile so you have to see in correlation of electric vehicle only okay and uh guys over the years in next five ten years as and when economy will be from fifth largest economy to third largest economy the adoption of electricals and all the other segment is going to go up only so guys this is what i wanted to tell you about electricals hope you like this video and just type in the comment box which type of stocks you have in your currently portfolio and or if you are going to buy which are the stocks you are going to buy 
and I'll, I always answered your questions. If you have any question related to electrical, please post it down. And guys, if you want to learn know how to analyze all these stock fundamentally and how to know entry, exit and everything, we are conducting a free masterclass uh, during the weekdays. You can attend the link I'll be giving here uh, below in the comment. You can click it and uh, do attend the session and there are a lot of free gifts also. So thank you very much guys for attending this video completely and I'll see you soon in the next video. Hope you like this. See you then. Bye bye.